Hello. Um, let's today talk about um, the medical image modality part two. Today I will majorly talk about the uh, MRI. This figure shows the synopsis of MRI. The basic idea is like this. We put the human body in a big magnetic field. B here is a big magnetic field. Okay. After that, we will transmit radio waves from outside into the human body. Then, in step three, we will turn off. We will turn off the radio wave transmitter. After the external radio wave transmit is turned off, then the human board will retransmit the radio wave to outside, okay, from the human body. Then we have some machine to merge the RF data and convert the RF, RF data to image. But this just shows the synopsis of MRI. If you guys go to the hospital, they, you will know the first will put you there. Then the machine is do something, then get the image. Okay. So what's the principle behind behind MRI? In fact, the many factors contribute to MR image. What I show here is uh, five factors. The first is the quantum properties of nuclear spins. The second factor is radio frequency excitation properties. That's I told you just now is the external well, also depend on the tissue relaxing property. We will know the uh, what's relaxing later. Definitely, it also depend on magnetic field strength and gradients. The last one is the timing of gradients, RF pulses, and signal detection. That's definitely we are related to the MR image. So we know in MIR image we need to use some atoms for image. So atom compose two parts. One part is the nuclear. So what kind of lookers can be used for MR imaging? We know lookers generally compose of protons and neutrons. Okay? The protons have charge, but the neutrons does not have charge. That's the first properties of a nucleus. The second nucleus for MR image, the nucleus also need to have the properties spinning. Okay, so only they have spin and also they have charge. The nucleus can be used for MRI image. When talk about the spin, even some nucleus cannot be used MI image because the pairs of spin inside has have even number of protons or neutrons. In this case, the pairs of spins tend to cancel, so it it is also not good. 
only the atoms with an odd number of protons or neutrons have been can be used for MRI image. So from here we can summarize as follows. The first, the nucleus must be spinning and have charge. Also, the odd number of protons or neutrons in the nucleus must be odd. This kind of uh, atoms include H, C, F, N, A, N, P. Okay? All of these nucle nucleus have odd number of protons or neutrons. So that's the basic themes for MR imaging. So in all of these kind of atoms, we know the hydrogen atom is the only major species that is MR sensitive. So generally in MR image, we generally is hydrogen image. We just use the hydrogen in the human body. Because the human body we know is composed of a lot of water. So it's essentially all MR is hydrogen, hydrogen image. So that's basically since when we for MIR image. Now let's talk about why we have some charge in the spin and they have odd number of protons then we can use for MR image. Let's first talk about a single proton. Here you guys see here I just show a single proton. Okay? As I just talked about, a single proton has charge on the surface. On its surface has charge, then it creates a small current loop. A small small current loop you guys know it can generate magnetic moment mu that's the physical things okay you can use the right hand rules to find the direction of mu also you guys will know a proton has mass and it's spinning so if you guys know the high school physics, a mass with spinning, then they generates an angular momentum J. Okay, this is the angular momentum J. So from these things, we can find that the proton can be treated as maglet. Okay, it's a maglet. However, this maglet is different from the maglet bar in our day life because it not just has maglet, also possess angular momentum caused by the spin. So this is the totally different from the static magnet. You can say this is a moving, spinning magnet. So we can use these two properties for MR image. Let's see what's happening. So because the proton is moving, okay, it's moving, then it changes its own magnetic field. So think about this one. If you guys put a magnet bar, uh, put an iron, iron in a magnetic field, then the, uh, the iron will line up with the direction of 
magnetic field. The same, the moving charged particle also generates its own little magnetic field. Okay, you can treat the moving charged particle as a magnetic bar. So if there is external magnetic field, then the same as the anion, they will line up with the external magnetic field. That's the um, basic things we learned from high school. Also, because the particles are spinning, it has mass, so it generates angular momentum. So this angular momentum resists, resists attempts to change the spin orientation. The external magnetic field make the moving charge particle line up with itself. However, the spin will we are hold it away from the from the external field line. Okay, so that's two things in act. So see here. Okay, you can see here every proton is spinning. Okay, because they create a magnetic field, so you can treat it as a Magnet bar has a direction. This is the laws of the magnet fields. This is south. Okay. Also, it is spin. But the question is if there is no external magnetic field, because you have many protons here. So, different protons they have different spin directions. Okay. Also, the north direction south direction is totally different that means the magnetic field direction for different proton is different this protein is go up this one go down this is go horizontal this is go to um, um, 20, uh, 275 degree or something so if there is no external magnetic fields this mass so let's see if there is external magnetic fields. Okay, you will find if there is external magnetic field, generally they try to, okay, to line up, align with external magnetic field. Okay, this is direction, direction, direction. Okay, line up. So this is after you put the external magnetic field B zero here. Okay, then they will line up with the external magnetic field. So that's the basic thing we talk about the spin or uh, the uh, spin proton. Okay, how they act like when there is B zero external magnetic field put on it. However, here we still not can get the image. We have need more things to get the MI image.